credit cards that you can get without having to pull your credit. I've noticed that videos of credit cards that don't require a credit pull get more views. And so I think that's something that a lot of people want to hear about. And so in this video, I'll be telling you guys about three credit cards that you can get right now. And these credit cards don't require you to use your credit score. Now, if you have any credit cards right now that you got without having to pull your credit, comment below and let me know what these credit cards are and also how you like using them. Also, if you're new to the channel and you're watching one of my videos for the very first time, my name is Ian and I post videos here on YouTube every single day on topics relating to making money and personal finance. So if you'd like to see more of these videos, give this video a thumbs up, I'll really appreciate it. And also consider subscribing to this channel and turning on all the notifications. And that way you'll be able to get the updates every day when I post a new video here. Now, if you're watching this video and you're wondering why anyone would want to get a credit card that doesn't require a credit pull, it's because there are some people, for instance, who have never used credit before. I've met a lot of these people and sometimes they never see the importance of a credit score until they try to make a very large purchase like a house for example and so now they need to build their credit but they don't have a credit score so they can't just apply for any regular credit cards. This actually happens a lot. Now another reason is that you may have good credit or once you had good credit and now your credit is bad and you can't really apply for any regular new credit cards and so the only option here would be to apply for a credit card that won't use your credit score as the approving factor. Now this way you can get a credit card and use it responsibly and then you can work towards building or rebuilding your credit. Now some of the credit cards on this list will require a credit check but this will be a soft credit pull and not a hard credit pull and the difference here is that the soft pull will hurt your credit or will not hurt your credit as they will only look at what they can find without actually pulling your credit report and then the hard credit pull is when they actually pull your credit report so never be afraid of a soft pull as that won't hurt your credit. Now the first credit card I want to mention here is the X1 credit card and I did a full review of this credit card a couple months ago and you can find that video here on the channel and watch that as well. But instead of using your credit score to qualify you for a credit card, they will instead use your income. They will go as far as using your future income if they think you may be earning much more soon in the future. Now, this card even offers to give people a credit limit of up to five times what they would be able to get with a regular credit card. Now, I remember reviewing this card and one of the things I liked about it was that it offered some really, really good rewards and a part of the rewards program was referring friends and people to sign up for the card. And if you want to see how you can actually benefit from the rewards that this credit card has to offer, then be sure to watch that video after this one. And I'll leave a link to that video here on the screen right now. Now, the next credit card is the Tomo credit card. And this one I actually reviewed about a month ago on this channel. And I'll leave a link to that full review as well. But this credit card was really good because they wouldn't use your credit score to qualify you. Instead, they would look at your banking account history and then determine how much they would be willing to extend to you in the form of a credit line. Now, I like this one because I thought it was the perfect credit card or at least one of the best picks if you have a very bad credit score and you want to rebuild your credit. If you're new to credit, then I would recommend you go with the Discover It's Secured credit card because of the advantages it has for people who are new to credit. I have reviews of all these credit cards here on this channel. Now, this Tomo credit card is also not really a credit card. It's a charge card, and what this means is that you have no other option but to pay the balance in full every single month. They take the money from your account, and so you won't be able to get yourself into any debt here. At least, you shouldn't. I also like the fact that this charge card will report to all three credit bureaus, and this way it will work on improving your credit score much faster. As a bonus, this card gives you 1% in cash back. Now, finally, the next credit card I want to mention on this list is the Grain app or credit card. And this is actually not so much of a credit card. It's a line of credit that you will have and you'll be able to use it like a credit card. Again, I did a full review of this app on this channel and if you want to watch that full review, I'll leave a link to that here. But this app works by you signing up and then you link your bank accounts and then they'll look at your bank accounts or your bank account and then determine how much of a line of credit they want to give to you. So if you have a lot of positive banking or positive banking history, 
then you'll be approved and you'll be approved for more. You then get to use your debit card that you already have and get access to this credit line or line of credit, which means your credit or your debit card will be like a credit card. Now, the main purpose of this app is to help you to build your credit. So if you manage this very well, then all the payments will be reported to the credit bureaus and you can benefit a lot from using this service. With this one, you do end up paying for the service. So if you want something that is completely free, then your best bet would be the Tomo credit card. And additionally, if you want to learn more about other credit cards that are good for beginners or people who have a very bad credit, then I have individual reviews on most of these credit cards and other videos that may help you. And I'll leave a link to my playlist of credit cards right here. So without making this video too long and boring you guys today, these are three very good options if you want to get a credit card to build your credit, but for some reason you either can't or you don't want to pull your credit to do so. As always, I hope this video helps you and you found the content valuable. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up as it helps the channel out a ton and I'll really appreciate it. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get the updates every day when I post new videos here. Check all the links down below for free and helpful stuff and I'll see you guys tomorrow.